Ready for a new project? Yep, we're ready for a new project. Say so welcome back to Bame Farm. Comment, like, subscribe, have all your fun. Oh, and we're glad you're not doing this. Well, sorry guys missed out on a bunch of work already. Okay, not much work. It was pretty easy uh, destruction of the hay wagon. The back just lifts off. I uh, have these, un took the nuts off, still got the bolts in, got to work on getting the bolts out. Um, but have been pretty much destroying the boards to get them off. As you can see over here, yeah, they're rotted off where the nails are. These were just some yellow pine we picked out of the refuse or ugly board pile at Lowe's. And shoot, how long have we gotten out of these? Maybe, I don't know. It's been at least five years, I feel like. Our problem is <laughs> the barn space. I try to keep them in as much as possible, but now that I'm bailing a bunch of hay, I'm filling barn space that way. It's like, I'm not gonna need another barn. Ugh. So if everybody wants, I won't turn anybody down if they start a GoFundMe page, but I'm gonna ask it for charity. No, I'll make enough money at some point to figure out how to put up a barn. <sighs> Yep. Now these beams have been through three decks already, two or three decks, at least two. This is the, at least the second deck, if not third. This beam's not bad. There's a little bit of soft material. Um, but as you look down here, this was the top when we rolled the beams over. That's useless. So I guess watch a little bit of me do some destruction and then I'll show you guys a little bit of what my plans might be going forward with this ordeal. Yep, yeah, I haven't had to use the crowbar, it's here. And I thought I'd be able to save a few boards. Well, keyword a few, the few on the front might still be okay. I don't know how those turned out normal. Now this board's cracked at the end over here. Yep. Oh, I should take karate so I can just break wood. There, yep, mm-hmm. Lovely. Maybe at the end of the summer we'll have a big, uh, big old bonfire. Wait for it to get nice and dry to take out all the woods behind me. And this one's sort of savable. I don't care. Now this one is more savable feeling. It's got some nails in it. I guess I'll knock the nails out. Didn't bring the hammers, I didn't think I'd be knocking too many nails out to save some boards. Might use a couple of these to build backs. Oh, I really need a hammer. I had to make some new backs for the two or three. Well, this wagon isn't new. Those anhydrous gears I keep talking about. I finally have materials and a plan that's got to execute after some destruction here. I figure this will be the easiest project since it's been a hay wagon before. We know what we're doing. The anhydrous gears will take a little bit of measuring and creative guesstimation to get going. Those will be lovely for delivery. They'll pull so straight, having that fifth wheel type steering. Unfortunately, at this moment, we planted some beans. Still have beans to go. Got a lot of rain, so I'm doing this. Wouldn't be able to bail much hay without the wagons anyways, but I was hoping this bed would have lasted longer than it has or did. Okay, we'll end up saving this one.
get it. I don't know why these are still good. Ish. They pull out so nicely with these galvanized twist nails. They're not supposed to pull out easy, but I know the rails are a little wet. I've got some telephone poles I'm thinking of using for main beams. Those things will absolutely... Well, they're not going anywhere, being creosote soaked, or whatever they are. The creosote, I don't know how they get the creosote in the boards. Dad says they somehow pressure cook it in or something. That's why I like the thought of using the uh, telephone poles. The telephone poles have, uh, well, they're round. You guys are poking right up in the sun. No, not quite. Okay, good. Telephone poles are rounded. Water will roll away. Unfortunately, these will probably sit outside most of the summer. I do have some big tarps to put on them for the winter. Everybody wants a nail on their tire, I got nails for them. In case you're looking for a reason, you're like, I want new tires. Just had to go through with a new tire thing on the 1086. Didn't need a new tire. Had to have the tube replaced. I've got calcium in them. And over the years, from various things, you know, causing punctures and the calcium leaking out, the rim's rusting. And so you get flakes of rust. And those glorious flakes of rust, well, they're getting big. Uh, to the point that, oh, well, they're causing problems. wearing or puncturing holes in the tube. And tried to talk dead into beet juice. Now the beet juice is three times the cost. And we already have the calcium, but it's three dollars a gallon versus a dollar a gallon to go with the beet juice. And the response I got that the beet juice will go bad. Like, so what? The poor guy changing the tires gonna have to wear a gas mask because it stinks when he's putting a new tire on? I mean, as long as it's not gonna rust out the rim, that's all that matters. I mean, does it decay and get acidic or something? But at least you're not starting from the get-go knowing that this is gonna rust out the rim. That's the big claim on the beet juice. I won't rust out your rim. Hmm. Well, let's see, any other topics I want to address? Hmm. Nah, we'll stick with that. I'll ramble on, but other stuff, no useless stuff. At, a, at another time, this one's, this board is barely worth saving, barely. Still seems straight, functional across the length, but the center is weak side to side. Yeah. So far I'm only saving probably five boards. Okay, well, I'll catch you guys with more action when I'm not rambling on.